O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness in those who have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his friends went by sea from Pamphos to Perga in Pamphylia, where John left them to go back to Jerusalem. The others carried on from Perga till they reached Antioch in Pisidia. Here they went to synagogue on the Sabbath and took their seats. After the lessons from the law and the prophets had been read, the presidents of the synagogue sent them a message. Brothers, if you would like to address some words of encouragement to the congregation, please do so. Paul stood up, held up a hand for silence, and began to speak. Men of Israel and fearers of God, listen. The God of our nation Israel chose our ancestors and made our people great when they were living as foreigners in Egypt. Then by divine power, he led them out and for about 40 years took care of them in the wilderness. When he had destroyed seven nations in Canaan, he put them in possession of their land for about 450 years. After this he gave them judges, down from the prophet Samuel. Then they demanded a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years he deposed him, and made David their king, of whom he approved in these words. I have selected David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will carry out my whole purpose. To keep his promise, God has raised up for Israel one of David's descendants, Jesus, as Saviour, whose coming was heralded by John when he proclaimed a baptism of repentance for the whole people of Israel. Before John ended his career, he said, I am not the one you imagine me to be, that one is coming after me, and I am not fit to undo his sandal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant, and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him, and my arm shall make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him, by my name his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. 
forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and washed away our sins in your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master. No messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I'm not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am he. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send, welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God, that he who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. O God, who know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you, and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.